Good morning parents and students of fourth standard. Today we will learn the social lesson Kingdom of Rivers. Listen carefully to what I am saying and learn. On a map of South India we can find the kingdoms of Chera, Chola, Pandyas and Pallavas. All the kingdoms were based near the rivers like Palar, Kaveri, Vaigai and Poigai. In this lesson we will learn about the Tamil kingdoms of Sangam age, about Chera, Chola, Pandyas and Pallavas, their administrative, economic and social conditions during Sangam period. And we will also learn about the Kurunila Mannargal. Introduction During the ancient period, people settled along the river banks as it was easy to do agriculture, farming and rearing animals and cattle due to availability of water. Payagalathala Makkal Ellaro காவேரி வைகை போன்ற ஆறுகள் பக்கத்தில் வாழ்ந்தாங்க ஏன்னா பயிரிடுறதுக்கும் மாடு ஆடு வளர்க்க அவங்களுக்கு தண்ணி வசதி இருந்தது அதனால் அந்த ஆறுகளுக்கு பக்கத்திலேயே சேர சோழ பாண்டிய நாடுகள் வந்தது தஸ் எமர்ஜ் த சேரா சோழ பாண்டிய கிங்டம்ஸ் அலாங் த ரிவர்ஸ் சேராஸ் அலாங் பொய்கை சோலாஸ் அலாங் காவேரி பாண்டியாஸ் அலாங் வைகை பல்லவாஸ் அலாங் பாலார் நவ் லெட்டர் சி அபவுட் த சேராஸ் திஸ் சேர ரீஜன் கன்சிஸ்டட் ஆஃப் ஈரோடு Thirupur, Koyambattur, Nilgiris and part of Kerala. They were the forerunners of the Movendargal, Poigar River and capital Vanji. The great rulers of the Chera dynasty were Imaya Varamban, Nedan Cheraladan and Cheran Chengutuvan. Their flag symbol was bow and arrow. Nedan Cheraladan hoisted, conquered up to Himalayas and hoisted this flag and so he is called Imaya Varamban Nedan Cheraladan. Cheran Sengutuvan, son of Nedan Cheraladan, erected the statue of Kannagi. The temple of Kannagi was built by stones brought from Himalayas after defeating King Kanagavijaya. We know this from Silapadigaram written by Ilangovaligal and Padittupattu. For the Cheras, was, the dynasty was around the river Poigai, capital Vanji, flag, bow and arrow and port was Thandi Musiri. Now let's learn about the Cholas. The capital was Urayur, along river Kaveri, districts covered were Tiruchi, Tanjavur, Pudukottai, Nagapattanam, Thiruvarur, Perumbalur, Ariyalur and Kadalur. The greatest rulers were Karigala Cholan, who was called Karigala Peruvalathan. Karigala Cholan took the responsibility of a king at a very early age and ruled efficiently. When he was very young, he was captured by his enemies and imprisoned. The room in which he was arrested was set on fire. In this fire accident, his fees broke. burnt due to his charred leg he was called as karigalan karigala cholan romba chinna vayasile or raja vaitaar andha chinna vayasile romba nalla padaya avaroda arasa aandaar avara oru oru mara enemies vandu capture panni jail la potutaanga appo andha jail la venunte avanga vandu or fire create panni neruppu undaaki avara andha fire accident la avaroda kaal erinju poidudhu adanalada da avar per karigalan At a very young age, he disguised as an old man and tactfully justified a case. The Cheras and Pandyas together attacked Karigalan at Veni and Vahaparandalai. Finally, Karigala Cholan defeated the two rulers there and was victorious. He invaded Sri Lanka and bought the captives from there to build the dam Kallanai across the river Kaveri. The picture of the dam is given here on your textbook page. The dam still stands erected even after 2000 years of its construction. Cholas. The river was Kaveri, capital Urayur, port Kaveri Pumbattinam and their flag was Taiga. Next, we will learn about the Pandyas. Pandyas established the rules on the bank of Vaigai with Madurai as their capital. The ancient Pandya country comprised of Madurai, Theni, Dindikkal, Virudunagar, Thirnalveli, Thutukurin, Sivagangai and Ramanathapuram. Madurai remained as the most popular city of Sangam period. Pandya country famous for pearls and Muttamad Sangams were held in Madurai under the patronage of Pandyas. The third Tamil Sangam was held in Madurai. Muttamad flourished during the reign of Pandyas. The most famous kings were Thalayalangaditha Seruvendra Pandya Nedunjariyan and Pandya Nedunjariyan of Silapadigaram. When Pandya Nedunjariyan was a young boy, he fought a battle at Thalayalanganam. against Cheras, Cholas and feudal lords Kurunila Mannargal. He defeated the combined force, therefore he got the title Thalayalanganath Seruvendra Pandya Nedunjayin. Now let us see about Silapadigaram. 
During the rule of Pandya, the Nedanjarian, he happened to prosecute Kovalan for theft and gave death sentence. Kovalan's wife Kannagi advocated to prove her husband's innocence. When the king realized the truth, he said, Yane Arasan, Yane Kalvan, Kedugaven Ayul, and died by falling from his throne. Immediately, his wife Kopirin Devi also sacrificed her life out of shock. The administrative system of Pandyas was depicted by Mangudi Marudanar of Madurai Kanchi. The Pandya dynasty was along the river Vaigai. The capital was Madurai, port was Korkai, and fl flag was fish. So, Yenana, Nedin Jadian or Mandarundar, our Kanegi Yude Kanavan, Kovalane, Arasi Koperin Deva Yoda, Kal Chalamathiritan, Tavaraga, Yeni, Marana than a Kurtatar, Upper Kanegi, our Kanavan, Thirudalane, our Nirubaradin, Nirubachanala, Tavarana Thirpukurtake, our Nedin Jayan, and the Yatale, Vira Vititar. In ancient Madurai, there existed daytime shops called Nalangadi and nighttime shops called Alangadi. Now let us see the activity 1. Some of the columns in activity 1 has been filled. The remaining children, please do a look at the videos, look through the textbook and fill up these activities. The activity 2 also should be filled by you. That is list out the territories of the Movendargal in the present districts of Tamil Nadu. Now let us talk about the Pallavas. The early Pallavas ruled on the banks of river pa Palar with Kanjiburam as the capital. The regions ruled by them was called Tondai Mandalam. It is located in the northeastern part of Tamil Nadu, that is near Mahabalipuram. Here in the textbook, the picture of Varaha Cave Temple, the Tiger Cave, which were built by the Pallavas, are shown. The kingdoms of early Pallavas was founded by Siva Kantavarma Pallavan. He integrated Tondai Mandalam and ruled over there. The greatest kings among the early Pallavas were Sivas Kantavarman and Vishnu Gopan. The later Pallava period was started from the reign of Simma Vishnu. The greatest king of this period were Mahendra Varman and Narasimha Varman. The greatest achievements of the Pallavas were cave temples and Mandithik Rathas. Pallavas kingdom was located by the river Palar. Port was Mahabalipuram, capital Kanchipuram, and flag was Nandi. Now let's see about the feudal lords. Apart from Movendargal, several feudal lords or Kurunila Mannargal also ruled over smaller lands. The most important among them were Pehan, Pari, Nedumudi Kari, Ai, Adiyaman, Nalli, Walvil Ori. The pictures of some of the Kurunila Mannargal are given for you in the text. These kings were known for their generosity. Therefore, they were popularly called as Kadai Yel Valdalgal. Now let us see about the administrative council. Arasan was specially called as Ko, Khon, Vendan, Kotravan, Irai by his people. Each dynasty had their own flag, symbol, scepter, sword, drum and when Kotra Kudai. The kings were not only efficient warriors but they were scholars too. The king was a warrior. Matu Illama, Nalla Padichongalava Irandanga. Kingship became hereditary. That is, King Oda, that is Raja Oda Paya Mudal Payanda, and the Uda, Uda Uda Arasanana, that is, the first son became the ruler. The kings greatly cared for the people of the country. Next is hospitality. Hospitality na Virundombal. Hospitality occupied a significant place in Sangam period, even though it is Amritam, nectar. It was considered to be a sin. The guest is kept outside home. Kakai Padayanar, a poet, got his name for praising a crow for informing the arrival of a guest. Puranaanar describes hospitality as one of the important duties of Tamils. Ippakuda pathinga na, nama nariya vitla, nama loda guest vandha, aungala varasoli, okara vichche, aungala kena saapada parimaradu, Tamil insuk, rambu oru mukhya maana oru culture arukkou. Economic conditions. Various arts and crafts flourished during the Sangam age. People lived happily due to the development in econ economy. Paddy and sugarcane were the most important crops cultivated. Besides these, varag, millets, thinnai, millets and samai were also cultivated. And Avayar says about the prosperity of the king in the development of agriculture. Varappuyara neeruyarum, neeruyara nelluyarum. Nel weer a kudu yerum, 
குடி உயர கோல் உயரும் கோல் உயர கோன் உயர்வான் ஹியர் கோன் மீனிங் த கிங் நவ் லெட் அஸ் நோ த கண்டிஷன்ஸ் ஆஃப் உமன் ஜூரிங் த சங்கம் ஏஜ் உமன் வேர் ரெஸ்பெக்டட் இன் சொசைட்டி மோனோகேமி வாஸ் ப்ரிவலண்ட் உமன் வேர் ஈக்குவல் டு மென் இன் பிரேவரி இட் இஸ் செட் இன் புறனாறு புறநானூறு தட் இன் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டே ஆஃப் அ பேட்டில் ஏ உமன் லாஸ்ட் அ ஃபாதர் த செகண்ட் டே ஷி லாஸ்ட் அ ஹஸ்பண்ட் Despite these heavy losses, she prepared and sent her son to the battlefield with great zeal. In the past, the people are very proud of their own. If you say a story in a while, they are 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 in a while. It is also said a woman in Sangam age drove away a ferocious tiger with a moram in a hand. Now let us see the festival celebrated during the Sangam period. People of Sangam age celebrated various festivals. Karthigai, Thiruvadarai and Harvest festivals were the most celebrated ones. Uruthirana Kannanar of Pattinapale said the most popular festival of Indravira was celebrated in Puhar. Now let us do the practice exercise. Evaluation. Choose the correct answers. Cheras, Cholas and Pandyas were called Dash. Option B. Move in Dirgal. The efficient king among the Cheras was Dash. Option C. Cheran Sengutuvan. Port of Cholas was Dash. Option A. Kaveri Poompattinam. The flag of Pandyas was Dash. Option B. Fish. The Vallal who gave his chariot to Mullai was Dash. Option A. Pari. Next is match the following. Cheras, Poigai, Cholas, Kaveri, Pandyas, Vaigai, Pallavas, Palar. Children, with this we have come to the end of the social lesson. The question and answers will be given to you as a PPT or a PowerPoint presentation. Stay home, stay safe, stay learnt. Bye-bye.